Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieder here with On-Call Compliance Solutions and another Compliance Tip of the Week. Today we're talking about NIST SP800-171 Control 3.1.12, Monitor and Control Remote Access Sessions. Definitely a critical one, especially uh, to prevent against attacks, or at least be made aware if an attack may be impending. So, uh, as always, we like to go through a sample answer to this control if we were writing our system security plan. So, our sample answer to this is implemented via SEAM, or Security Information and Event Management Solution, and Firewall. Uh, VPN usage is monitored and secured via MFA, or multi-factor authentication. Uh, the SEAM system, firewall, logs, and notifications. In addition, remote access is restricted to a limited subset of authorized users. In other words, not everybody really needs to have remote access, right? So, let's not give it to them only if they needed to uh, complete their currently assigned job duties. Remote support sessions require MFA access to gain access to tools and workstations accessible, uh, re, uh, excuse me, uh, tools and workstations accessible remain locked and unavailable without proper device specific credentials and multi-factor authentication for access to those devices containing CUI. So in other words, there's a screen saver, it locks, you've got to log in and MFA into it. Uh, you know, or whatever method of choice you have for access control at the workstation itself. If you're remoting into that workstation, again, you would still remote directly into a lock screen. Uh, so I think that's pretty critical to understand. Uh, device access, those devices authorized to store, process, and transmit CUI are always monitored and controlled by trained authorized users. In other words, hey, look, no one's getting access to CUI unless they've actually gone through the required training, signed policies, and that kind of stuff. So that's how we'd go through and answer that. And of course, if you're trying to get compliant with DFARS, NIST SP800-171, or CMMC on your own, and you're looking for help, our compliance experts are always on call for you. Visit NIST800-171compliance.com or check out the bio below for links to make life easy. There you can find more information about how we can help, self-scheduled time at your convenience with one of our compliance experts through any form on the website. And believe me, it never costs you a penny to see how we can help. Or learn more about our completely done-for-you services that can have you on your way to being compliant in just two to three days. Guys, I keep hearing out there that people are like leveraging these like three-year contracts to help defense contractors get compliant. Let me tell you something. If you gotta be compliant right now, all right, and, and, and maybe you're getting bids on how to do this work, and they're trying to say, oh, you know, it's gonna take us like three years, or you gotta sign a three-year commitment to us. Look, just call us, okay, seriously. There's no, com there's no long-term commitment. You need to be compliant right now. We can have you there in two to three days uh, and have you where you need to be. So again, no long-term commitment, no monthly agreement even, right? Just, just call us and we'll explain how it works why you know a lot of the IT companies out there just really aren't getting it and understanding the IT you know portion of this thing? Uh, again, it's 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 a big difference between what we do and the average bear. So look, if you love our content, uh, we're just trying to level the playing field, especially for that small to mid-sized defense contractor with between one employee and maybe five thousand or so. Uh, again, if you're not one of these big giant enterprises with an unlimited budget, you're the type of people we love to help. So if you love the content we're putting out here for you, help us out with a big thumbs up on that like button, or even better, smash the subscribe button to get the latest compliance content as soon as our compliance nerds roll it out. It's a great way to stay prepared for that upcoming CMMC certification everybody's going to have to go through eventually. Until the next time, my friends, uh, stay safe and secure out there, and hit us up in the comments below to let us know what you'd like to know more about when it comes to information security and compliance, and I'll see you on the next one.